Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow, yo. Well, it's my law, I'ma let you be the boss, cause I'll go with you. Clearly I need to work on my spiral, but what's up guys, welcome back to another video. We're starting out this video with something I absolutely hate doing, but I know it needs to be done. Cleaning. Chores. Ew. That is disgusting. This girl right here, she loves to clean and she's trying to get me to do more of it. We have a mission moving forward of waking up every Saturday and cleaning right away as opposed to waiting until the end at Sunday night to clean for the rest of the week. So if you guys clean at a certain time every single week, let me know. I'm open to suggestions. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. We're still working on her. Week three of fostering this good old girl. And uh, yeah, she, she responds about like 10% of the time to me, but you know, she's in training for sure. Anyways, dude, this weather went from like 75 and sunny to 40 and rainy overnight. It's ridiculous. But you saw the title of this video. Let's get this thing rolling. We got some stuff to talk about today. So hope you enjoy. Let's go. Every day feels the same. At least it's starting to feel the same and I know a lot of people feel this way. Life is repetitive where you wake up, you go to work, you eat lunch, you go back to work, you eat dinner, maybe go to the gym, you come back and maybe you relax a little bit and watch TV and you go to bed. And that's the cycle until the day you die for most people. It's basically like a rat race. For me, I love my job, I really do. But every day, Monday to Friday, I wake up at like 7.30, clock in at 8 a.m., work, clock out at 5.30, and it's an endless cycle. I love making these YouTube videos. It's my favorite thing in the world, but it's an endless cycle as well, where every single weekend, I'm spending most of the time filming and editing these videos, and at this point, this is like my 195th video or something like that, it absolutely feels repetitive to me. People say time flies, and that's because for most people, their days blend together. And when your days start blending together with no real separation, you start to feel unfulfilled and not that excited to get out of bed every single day. So how does this happen? Well, I think humans are creatures of habit, where we find comfort in things that are familiar to us. We find comfort in routines and patterns. And when we start to do something repetitively, we start to get good at it. But eventually, that repetition becomes extremely, extremely extremely boring. And if you want to find more meaning and excitement in your life, you got to be willing to break these patterns. So here are three things I started doing in my life recently when I personally feel that every day becomes the same. And you guys can do these as well. Number one is set small achievable goals. Every time you accomplish a goal, you should feel proud of yourself and that good feeling makes you happy, right? Or at least it should. So something I like to do is set small achievable goals. Very easy things that probably don't even seem like goals because they're so freaking basic. For example, the goal we set at the start of this video to clean the apartments every Saturday morning when we wake up to set a good tone for the weekend. I originally started looking into pickleball as a hobby. You know, just something on the side to do whenever I have the time here and there. But learning that new skill is a goal of mine. If you follow my channel, you know I cannot cook for crap. I cannot cook, period, at all. I'll make you some good ass toast, but that's about it. So a recent goal I have is to start paying more attention to Scholar when she's cooking, because she's a pretty good cook, so I can learn some new recipes off of her, or at least get the basics of cooking down, right? That's probably step one. These tiny goals break up my schedule so it doesn't feel as monotonous. These goals are so freaking basic. Like, these take me hardly any time or any energy to accomplish, but I promise you they work like magic by adding some more excitement to my daily life. Number two is take spontaneous trips. This is something that we absolutely love to do. Just within the last two months, we've taken spontaneous last minute road trips 
to Chattanooga, Nashville, and Greenville, South Carolina. And most of these trips go like we wake up on a Saturday morning, me and Skylar, we quite literally turn our heads and look at each other and say, you know what the heck, let's go. So I pull out my phone, book a hotel, pack one suitcase between us to share, hop in the car and hit the road. Because these trips are always on the fly, nothing is planned. We kind of do whatever we run into and we go out to eat whatever restaurants we pass by that look nice. This spontaneous factor makes these trips ridiculously fun and it's something that we try to do probably once a month. So the obvious argument to this is that this stuff costs money. It costs money to book a hotel, even the gas money if you're going a couple hundred miles, you know, that costs 50 or 100 bucks in gas. Completely understand I'm not exactly rolling in money myself. But my argument to that is if there's one thing I like to spend money on, it's experiences. You cannot put a price tag on the memories you make when you're having a good time. So if you have a little bit of extra money that you would probably spend on say, you know, clothes or the new iPhone, dude, I, do, I buy one piece of clothing per year. Seriously, I spend a lot of money on hotels, on flights, on vacations, but at the same time, I don't spend much money on clothes. My iPhone is like four years old. Other stuff like this that's material, I don't value nearly as much as I do making memories, doing cool, fun things. I never try to spend more than like a hundred bucks a night if I can avoid to. So I look for hotels with like 80, 90 bucks. It's usually a crappy hotel, but for one night when we're not even spending most of the time there, you know, what the heck? It's, it's worth it, absolutely. Life gets so boring when all you do is wake up, go to work, go home. Wake up, go to work, go home. Wake up, go to work, go home. Dude, do something spontaneous, pack your stuff, hit the road, get a cheap hotel, and make some memories. Let me close the door for you, like a gentleman. Always in, there we go. By the way, if you're in Atlanta, check out Mason Mill Park Indicator. This place is pretty dope, especially if you have a dog. Also, if you're in Atlanta, then you definitely know that the new Krispy Kreme on Ponce is finally open. Right now, we're sitting in the drive-thru, and there are a ton of cars here. This place is popping right now. Let's get a donut. Open that bad boy, baby. Oh, yum. Feed me, baby. Let's go. Mmm. That's fresh off the press. That's so good. Mmm. Oh mmm. Dude, that's hot and ready. Mm -hmm. That is hot and ready. Mm. And number three, I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet, call your family more. I think usually as people get older, they talk to their family less and less. I think something as simple as keeping the relationship strong with the people you love the most, that goes such a long way and adds a ton of fulfillment to your life. So if you don't live with your parents like me, you know, call them as much as you can. If you live with your parents still, call a cousin or uncle you haven't talked to in a while. I promise you, doing this stuff, it seems like very, very minimal, but in the long run, you'll look back on it and, and be happy that you did. We're heading out for a quick beer and we're still trying to determine how much separation anxiety she has. Uh, I mean, she definitely has a little, it's not terrible, but you know, for example, take a look at this toilet paper roll. For, for whatever reason, we had this laying out and she chewed through it, so as you can see right there. Bad girl, you're not supposed to do that. We'll be back soon, girl, I promise. Paul, Paul, you give me Paul, Paul. Actually, I think she's doing it for the first time. Paul, 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 Paul. Oh, no. She just wants to get pet like that. Paul, Paul, we're still working on it. So one of my favorite parts about Atlanta, specifically after being here about two and a half years, is their beer. I think Atlanta does make some really good craft beer. So my three favorite breweries in the Atlanta area are one, Bold Monk right here, two, Scofflaw right down the street from here actually, and three is Kettle Rock Brewery up like 30 minutes into the suburbs. All amazing beer. If you watch my channel, you know I freaking love my craft beer. Babe, we're gonna go road trip next week again? Road trip Why next week, that? you down? So next week, and I'll show you the confirmation, but let me see if I can hide the location. There you go. You can see I just 
confirmed wait hold on just confirmed a booking on expedia so stay tuned for that so we're going somewhere new i have never been before to visit one of my good buddies who actually lived in atlanta for a year before moving away so i am uh i'm super pumped for that stay tuned come here girl let's go girl there you go hang with me you want to help me do the outro of this video Help me do the outro, girl. Yeah, you do. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed another video today as much as I did making it. I'm gonna wrap it up right here, right now. So, if you haven't already, please drop me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, because I drop a new video every single Monday that you don't want to miss. As always, guys, work hard to be nice to people. I will see you guys next Monday. Thanks.